Well, today was the day for Apple's annual fall product showcase, a time for the company to unveil its latest and greatest iPhone to the world. But while the newest smartphone was undoubtedly the centerpiece of today's event, Apple TV fans still came away with some useful news. Specifically, we now know when the next iteration of tvOS software will arrive, and we're going to talk about it right here. So let's cut to the chase. The next update to tvOS is set to arrive on eligible devices on September 20th, 2021. That news comes straight from Apple itself, following the conclusion of its online event. The company shared release dates for its slate of fall software updates, including iOS 15, iPadOS 15, and of course, tvOS 15. However, the company did not share release info on the next Mac OS update known as Monterey. Now, iOS 15 is set to come out on September 20th and will be compatible with a wide, wide range of devices, including the first and second generation iPhone SE and the seventh generation iPod Touch. As for tvOS, well, that supported device list is going to be much smaller, of course. So owners of the 2015 era Apple TV HD and the first and second generation Apple TV 4Ks will be eligible for the upgrade. If you're among the slightly more adventurous Apple TV owners out there, you may have already checked out in-progress versions of the latest tvOS software thanks to public beta releases earlier in the year. But if you've been waiting patiently for final release software before upgrading your Apple TV, well, your day is coming soon. And what can you expect from tvOS 15 when it officially launches? Well, let's get into that next. What to expect in tvOS 15. So I think it's fair to say the new feature list for tvOS is quite a bit more modest than it is for iOS 15. That being said, tvOS is bringing some interesting new tricks with it when it launches. However, one of the most significant additions won't be ready in that first update. Let's explain. Okay, so the actual Apple TV app will gain a couple new categories in this latest update. One is called For All of You, and it's designed to service content suggestions that might be of interest to multiple users within your household. We also want to make it easier to decide what to watch as a group, especially if mom's into action movies, grandma loves sci-fi, and the teens can't get enough comedy. That's why we're introducing a new rule called For All of You, with a collection of shows and movies based on everyone's interests, perfect for family movie nights. And you can easily fine tune the suggestions based on who's watching. And in case you're curious, those content suggestions extend beyond the company's own Apple TV Plus shows and movies to include programming from other streaming services as well. Another new section of the app is called Shared With You, and the aim there is to wrangle up all the shows and movies that your friends and family have shared with you through Apple's Messages app. So if, say, your friend shares Ted Lasso with you via the Messages app in hopes that you'll finally see what all the fuss is about, the show will pop up in the Shared With You section when you fire up the Apple TV app. Other new features include spatial audio support, which works with Apple's AirPods Pro and AirPods Max audio equipment. The idea there is to simulate a surround sound environment while wearing earbuds or headphones. We've seen the feature pop up on, say, Apple Music in the past, and the effect can be impressive in the right circumstances. Also, connecting those AirPods should also get easier, thanks to what Apple is calling smart AirPods routing. On the smart home side, Apple TVs will be able to display multiple HomeKit cameras at once for a better home security experience. And you can also pair Apple's HomePod mini speakers to your Apple TV and use them as integrated speakers. The company says you can pair two of them for a richer stereo sound environment. However, one key feature won't be available when tvOS 15 first launches. We're talking about SharePlay, the watch party-like new capability that allows users to watch a show or movie in sync with friends and family in other locations. If you've seen or used a watch party feature on streaming services like Hulu in the past year or so, you should have a good idea of what's going on here. So users on a compatible iPhone, iPad, Macs, and Apple TVs can join in on a group FaceTime call and check out a movie or show in a shared viewing experience. SharePlay is going to change the way you enjoy TV together. You can watch it all on Apple TV, in sync with your friends on FaceTime, ensuring everyone catches a movie's dramatic reveal or show's punchline at the same moment. You'll be able to chat and react with each other with synced playback so the content unfolds for everyone at the same time. Now, we reported earlier in the year that Apple has pulled the feature from previous beta versions of its software as it needed more development time, and as expected, the feature won't be ready for prime time when tvOS 15 officially launches. That said, we do expect SharePlay to pop up on compatible devices in the near future, so stay tuned to cordcuttersnews.com for any updates as soon as we hear about them. For now, though, that's what Apple TV users can expect when tvOS 15 launches on September 20th.
Stay tuned for more coverage on the latest Apple TV software when it officially goes live. We're looking forward to taking the final release out for a test drive once it's available, and we'll be sure to share our experiences with you. In the meantime, please do consider clicking on those like and subscribe buttons down below to help support our channel, and stay tuned for more cord cutting and streaming news in the future. My name is Philip Palermo, and we'll see you next time. Take care.